An escape character is a two-character sequence that starts with a backslash. It represents a special character that would otherwise be unprintable in Java. And some examples of escape characters are the backslash n, which is the new line character. Backslash t is the tab character. Backslash single quote to print out a single quote. Backslash double quote to print out double quote. And two backslashes in a row will print out a backslash. And the combination of these two characters is actually just one character, and that's called that escape character. And let's try out some examples. So in this example, I'm going to print out the string I love Java programming. That's all it's going to do. Great. So I'm going to print this out twice now because that's how much I love Java programming. And there it is. And notice that we're using print line to print these statements. If we remove the ln from print line, and so it just said print, it does not go to the next line. It prints both of these words out right next to each other. But using an escape character like backslash n, which we could stick at the end of the string, but within the string, it'll split it up and take it to the next line. You could have also placed it right before the next line right here, and it would have done the same thing. And you can put these backslash n's anywhere that you want. Backslash n right there. We'll take, split that first sentence up to I love Java and print programming out by itself. And then when it gets to this backslash n, it prints out I love Java programming on its own statement. And we can, let me undo this and make it, change it back to the way it was. And let's put the backslash n here. And it prints out normally again. And now let's try backslash t. Let's stick a backslash t right before this sentence. And it's going to tab everything over one tab. You see this big space right there? Tabbed it over. You want to tab it over twice, use two backslash t's, and then move it over even more. And if you wanted single quotes around the word Java, let's see. See, that it works in strings, but if you wanted to create a character like char, some char, and you wanted your single character to actually be a single quote you can't do things like this and you can't even print out the sum char because it's, you're getting compilation errors so you can't even run the program so what you could do is stick the backslash right in the middle before the second single quote and it will now allow you to print out your single quote there it is right there place it at the end because I didn't do a new line character at the end of my statement. So there is the single quote printing out. But in strings, this is string literal is surrounded by double quotes. If I wanted double quotes around the word Java, this wouldn't work. Because now what's happening is that it thinks that this double quote is closing this double quote. And then this one now belongs to the closing original double quote. And Java's just kind of hanging out in the middle and it doesn't know what's going on. So what you could do is just stick a backslash in front of each of these double quotes. And now it's going to print out I love Java programming with quotes, double quotes around the word Java. And let's say that you actually needed to print something that needed backslashes. For example, the path to some file or something like that. Send that out that print line. C colon backslash program file slash user slash desktop slash some file dot text. I mean, you couldn't print this out to the screen because of all the backslashes. It thinks that backslash P is an escape character when it's not. And this won't print out. You get an error. You can't even compile the program. But by having two backslashes instead of one, now the errors go away and you can print out that the path to this file and notice that everywhere there was two backslashes only one is actually printing out to the screen so these are the escape characters